so guys prelims is like approaching very very faster and you need to brush up some basic key things that have been like uh, recently surfaced over the current affairs so guys this is going to be very very short version because just remember the basic key things and the basic element that i have like put up here okay uh, so guys the first important thing that you should need to know is uh, there was a great news on uh, the Hindu newspaper on the month of the March. So that is the lot of ice and the waters uh, flowing in and around of Antarctica. That is mainly during the mainly on the McMurdo dry valleys. So like these falls, they started to show red color. Okay. So like many people were perplexed. What was the reason for this? So there was a proponent theory and uh, initially the garish red color of the water was mainly attributed due to the presence of red algae. So this was the first impression they found that is they gave the reason of due to for red algae and uh, recently like they have found that the red color is mainly a product of oxidation of iron that takes place when iron mineral dissolves in high density of water or sun brain okay so this water comes up in contact with oxygen and uh, so it's actually like a rusty okay it's like rust color so like the comp the mixture of iron and oxygen along with water so they impart like blood color that is bloody tinge to the Isis and the water. So this is the reason they have found out recently. So just remember, McMurdo Dry Valley is found in Antarctica, and the blood color of the water is mainly due to the presence of iron. It was not due to the presence of red algae. So this is the first important news. So just do keep it in your mind. Very very important for your prelims perspective. Uh, so the next thing is, uh, which river is called as Thirsty River? The river is called as Narmada River. Okay, uh, because the Narmada doesn't like it has been blocked so many by so many dams and that water no longer reaches the sea and uh, due to the uh, river water not reaching the sea the surface that is sea water has started to come inside the river itself so the sea has started a march inwards and uh, like so this is called as a thirsty river so if, in case we get a question which is the river that has been facing serious retreats uh, it like it is like Narmada uh, sea water is coming into it and initially there was like only 1% of land in the estuary that is mainly dedicated to salt but right now since sea water has approached in the river has turning too salty that is 3.18% has been like salt water and due to the like uh, due to the presence of uh, sea water in the river like there is like virtually no water bore wells in the river beds are sprouting with saline water okay so the areas adjacent to that uh, like even if you put a bore along the river side of Narmata you are getting very, very extremely like uh, saline water due to the uh, due to the intrusion of sea water into the groundwater as well so it also persists with high amount of chlorine as well and uh, like Narmada's famous Hilsa fisheries are on the verge of collapse so just remember this is also a prelims trivia that is Hilsa fisheries mainly famous in the Narmada river okay and an alia bed and a highland in the mouth of the Narmada is also not an highland anymore because it has been submerged that is alia bed and hilsa fisheries for your prelims perspective just remember the thirsty river is called as Narmada and uh, like it has high amount of chlorine and hilsa fisheries present on the Narmada's river bank and alia bed is also a highland in Narmada so the next is about a goldman prize winner so goldman prize winner is otherwise called as green noble okay so green noble so it was won by prafulla samantara so like who is prafulla samantara so like, i'll tell you uh, i'll tell you a short story about him like uh, way back like 12 years back the government of india has ordered uh, the nyamgiri hills to mining for bauxite okay so like all the peoples in and around uh, the dongria kondu community so like they protested for nearly 12 years and it was led by prafulla samantara and finally they succeeded in their protest and government has withdrawn from nyamgiri hills from mining okay so like they successfully saved their uh, like saved their community and also they saved their forest from government invasion okay so this is why he has won the prafulla that is Prafula Samantara, he has won the Goldman Prize winner. And uh, the Home Ministry report says that Nyamgiri Suraksha Samiti is a front for Maoist. So this is the reason that the government has cited. So like from there, like Maoist has been coming. So this is like utterly pure nonsense because like the government has the habit of terming them as Maoist, Naxalist, like uh, like in and around Chhattisgarh and Odisha. So this is like well known, like uh, like well known fact. And also like people's opposition can also save such biodiversity spots such as Kandahar Hills from mining. So Kandahar is also another important spot for mining and it is also present in Odisha. 
Uh, so guys there was all there was already a question that has came uh, regarding the relocation of the tiger reserves so they the question was on on sariska so sariska was the first tiger park to re, to relocate tigers so following the footsteps of sariska tiger reserves so in the baksa tiger reserve some uh, tigers are relocated relocated from neighboring assam so this was like uh, approved by the national tiger conservation so just remember relocation of tigers was done to baksa tiger reserves from neighboring assam so like uh, the forest department had taken up uh, tiger augmentation plan in baksa jaldapara for which detailed project report was prepared in consultation with wildlife institute of india and global tiger forum so guys if you are preparing for your prelims just note the key important words that is they are approved by ntca and they are taken from assam to west bengal not baksa to assam so don't don't confuse this so re they were relocated to baksa tiger reserves and in consultation with wildlife institute of india and global tiger forum okay so just remember these key things because upsc will put a twist in this things alone so guys thanks for watching this video i hope you, i hope your preparation is going very well so like do subscribe to our channel for more and more awesome videos i'll see you in the next lecture bye